Hello, and welcome to Bake and Cook with Passion. My name is Melody, and I will walk you through this recipe for buffalo chicken pot pie. The recipe ingredients are listed in the description box and also on baconcookwithpassion.com. It would be a pleasure to answer any questions you may have. So please leave your questions in the comment section and I will answer them. Now let's get started with this wonderful recipe for buffalo chicken pot pie. Add celery, onions, fresh herbs and garlic to two tablespoons of hot oil. Stir and add salt and pepper. You will be able to adjust it more at the end. Continue cooking until soft. Just till translucent. Now we add the butternut squash. Okay, you can do carrots. But I'm not a fan of cooked carrots, so I substitute it with squash. Now let's add the pre-cooked chicken. This could be leftover chicken or even roasted chicken you buy from the store. Mix the ingredients that you have so far. Now remove it from the heat and set it aside. Now it's time to make the sauce. In a large saucepan, melt the butter. And in a small bowl, mix your milk and cornstarch together and pour it into the melted butter. While stirring, add the blue cheese and continue stirring. Continue stirring and add the hot sauce. Now you will notice the sauce will start to thicken. This is exactly what we're looking for. Once the sauce has thickened, pour the buffalo sauce into your meat mixture and stir. Add cooked diced potatoes. Add your mozzarella cheese and stir until combined. Now give it a taste. If you would like to add more heat, Try a half teaspoon at a time of cayenne pepper or chili flakes. Add salt and pepper to your taste. Now let's get started with preparing our mini pot pies and pies casserole style or individual pot pie. Illustration number one, mini buffalo chicken pot pies. Using a 
Italian muffin pan, line the bottom and the sides of each muffin cup with pastry dough. Fill each muffin cup with buffalo chicken filling. For the top crust, cut a circle of pastry dough that fits inside the muffin cup. Try a cookie cutter or a top of a drinking glass. Top each muffin cup with your circle dough, carefully sealing the sides together. Now with a fork, gently prick the tops. This will help to release the steam while baking. To help with browning, brush the tops with egg wash. Bake at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. Because ovens vary, check at the 20 minute mark. Bake until golden brown. Let them cool in pan before removing, and if you like, sprinkle with a few dried herbs. Look at those delicious mini buffalo chicken pot pies. Time to enjoy! Illustration number two will be buffalo chicken hand pies. Cut the dough into four by four squares. Fill one side of the square leaving room at the edges for sealing. Fold the other side of the dough on top of the filling. Gently press the sides together to seal. Now using a fork, make sure the stuffing is completely on the inside and seal firmly around the edges. Brush the tops and the edges with the egg wash and prick the top with a fork to release the steam. Now bake at 400 degrees on a cookie sheet with parchment paper or a nonstick baking pan will do. Now bake until golden brown. This will take approximately 20 to 25 minutes, but always checking at the 20 minute mark. Remove from the oven and sprinkle with a little dried parsley or green onions. And there you have it, buffalo chicken pot pie hand pies. Enjoy. Illustration number three, our casserole style buffalo chicken pie. This is really simple because all you will need is your buffalo chicken filling and a crust to go on top. Add your filling to your casserole dish. You do not need to add pastry dough on the bottom. Now top it with your pastry dough. Using a knife or fork, make holes. This will help to release the steam while baking.
brush the top with egg wash. This will help with the browning. Sprinkle with dried parsley or green onions. Bake at 400 degrees until golden brown. This will take approximately 30 minutes. Add a tossed salad and dinner is ready. Buffalo chicken pot pie, casserole style. Illustration number four is our individual buffalo chicken pot pie. Add pastry dough to the top and sides of your individual baking dish and sprinkle with dry herbs. Fill each dish with your buffalo chicken filling and top with pastry dough. Sprinkle the top with dried parsley or green onions and with a knife or fork make holes to release the steam. Brush the top with egg wash. This will help with browning. Bake at 400 degrees until golden brown. This will take about 20 to 25 minutes. Thank you for watching Bake and Cook with Passion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me bring more videos like this to you.